In this video, we are going to add fractions. I'm going to focus this one, though, on like denominators. All right, so we're going to add 3 tenths and 6 tenths. Notice again that they're both tenths, right? The denominator is the same. Let's take a look at this in a model form, right? So let's say we have a bar. We have cut it into tenths. In fact, both of them are cut into tenths. The first bar we have shaded 3 tenths. In the second bar, we have shaded 5 tenths. And we want to add those together. So we could literally just take those pieces and let's just put them together, right? So we'll move those three down. We'll move those five down. We'll put them all together in one bar. How much of that bar is shaded? Well, firstly, it's still tenths. That did not change. It still has 10 pieces. But now we can see all together, there's eight of those boxes that are shaded so eight tenths now that's not our final answer so mathematically what we would want to do in any time we work with fractions whether we're adding subtracting multiplying or dividing we have to make sure does the fraction need to be simplified does the fraction need to be um, converted if it's an improper fraction so eight tenths can be simplified the greatest common factor for eight and ten is 2 so 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 10 divided by 2 is 5 4 fifths is our simplified answer 